incredible guy in uh, in a Yayasan in Garu in uh, Chianjur, sorry. And like he used Silat as a means of rehabilitation. So there was like this Yayasan was all about taking care of people with drug and alcohol addiction. Help them like, you know, fix themselves mentally. And he would do that through like a process of first of all just being a fucking human to them. Secondly, he would make jamu every single day. And then thirdly, exercise, which was Silat. And so to see this guy devote his life to that and bring like what he learned in Silat to be able to make life better for other people, that's like, that blew me away. Absolutely not, no way. The guys, Iko and Yayan, they're without a doubt like some of the most insanely talented choreographers and fighters and performers that I've ever seen. Iko, I mean, right now we're only on our third movie, but Iko's already kind of proven himself to be, you know, right up there with the best. There's a lot of people who can fight, there's a lot of people who can do martial arts, but there's a difference between somebody who understands the psychology of a fight scene, who understands building those characters, and also understands how he looks when the camera is pointing at him. And so will Yayan too, and it's like the fact that they both complement each other so well. Like, Yayan brings like so much of the complexity and the technique and the sort of philosophy behind the sea light. On a personal level, no. Because uh, like, to be honest, like, it's not, not to be flippant, but it's just like, I don't, make, I don't make films for that. I make films for an audience to watch. Like, you know, if you make a film to be like eligible for an award, then it's the wrong reason to make films in the first place. I would love to be able to see my crew be able to get recognized because I feel like they're doing some of the hardest work that's been done in this country. Like, I genuinely feel that. Like, we work ridiculously long hours, we work really hard, and we're raising the bar in terms of action movie making here, you know? And I feel like what we've achieved, you know, with such little experience is, is like a big thing. I would never make a comedy. I have a valid reason for that. If you have a quiet audience when it's a comedy, then you know it sucks. If I was sat in a premiere of a comedy I made and it was just silent, I just want to be dead and just crawl into the seat and never be seen again. So yeah, that's like a nerve-wracking experience I'm trying to avoid. I have two projects that I'm planning to do. Like one is out in the US, one is in the UK. Yeah, I mean, those projects will take me outside of Indonesia, but my home is always here. Indonesia has gifted me my career. Like, without a doubt. I, was, I tried to do stuff in the UK, but I didn't do anything on a big level. I came here, I found out about my martial art from the documentary. That spot spiraled off this like, love affair for CLAT, which ended up making Maranta, which ended up making Raid, and now Raid to Brando. And that's all happened because I came here. And so I feel like, this, and it's not like a responsibility at all, but it's just this thing of like, there's so much here that I haven't touched on yet. There's so much here in terms of the history and the culture that I haven't even explored. 